Christmas has come early to North Carolina and to CIG with the judge agreeing with CIG motion to dismiss approved. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. For some time now, we have had the legal issues from Crytek hanging over our heads. But no more. It is done. I'm going to tell you what the judge said in a second. For those new to Star Citizen, CIG was originally using CryEngine. But since the, the scope of the project grew so much, they actually branched off to use Lumberyard, which is Amazon's branch of CryEngine. This caused a lot of legal issues, well, we thought caused legal issues, but uh, apparently Ortwin was right from the beginning. Now, Ortwin, who is a co-founder of CIG, used to be legal counsel for Crytek. And when this all started, he came up right in the beginning and he said they got nothing. I was skeptical. I was trying to read through what Crytek was saying, saying, well, maybe, I mean, did they share code? Was the code shared with someone, possibly? And so, look, we are not lawyers. Well, most of us are not lawyers. Ortwin called it from the very beginning, and i got to give him praise here because he did. He said right from the beginning, they got nothing. There were times where I said, you know what? I'm 60-40. 60 for CIG, 40 for Crytek. I don't know. Then I was maybe 75, and then I was 80-20. But right now... With what it stands now, listen, that's 95.5 in favor of CIG. Uh, let's take a look at what was posted on Reddit. And it's summarized better than I can. So uh, one second here. Oh, first of all, uh, this was hilarious. Uh, the org synchronizes, put up a great picture here. Synchronizes 8th Squadron enters the Hurston system. And they put up a picture of... Uh, the Hammerheads all information, which was very cool. Nice work, synchronizers. And I was looking at this and I go, that's that's very cool. If only I could wrangle up some people in test to do something. So I went in the forums and I said, test squadron, assemble. We need Hammerheads, get them out right now. And you know what? <laughs> oh, Lefty led the fleet up and isn't it beautiful? Isn't that a work of art? The T-posing Hammerhead formation, the most deadly of all Hammerhead formations. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Uh, James was streaming it, Director Gunner for the 4K and 8K shots and recording it. Thank you, guys. That was hilariously a lot of fun. But back to the story and why we came to this video. Uh, here it is. Brisbane summarizing it, up, summarizing it up better than I can. And the super quick rundown, he says, CIG weren't engaging in the business of selling Star Engine. So Crytek have no grounds to say that they were designing, developing, and creating or promoting an engine which competes with CryEngine. That is correct. That was one of the claims that uh, CIG was going to be selling this engine. And at the moment, anyway, CIG, no, is not engaging in the business of selling Star Engine. So that was tossed out. Now, the GLA permits adapting CryEngine to suit CIG's needs. Absolutely. There was no question about that. Uh, the GLA only prohibits CIG from licensing to a third party, not licensing from another party, e.g. Lumberyard. Now, that was a strange claim. Crytek said that CIG cannot use another engine. CIG has to make Star Citizen with CryEngine. And even the internet lawyers, um, Lior, saw this and go, that's nonsense. A gaming company can switch engines to suit their needs anytime. You can't be locked into an engine to make a game. Then it turns out you can't actually do what you want to do. Of course you can change. But also keep in mind that Ortwin was the guy who also wrote this contract and he knows. And so there's no ways that be locked in. So that was a frivolous claim to begin with. CIG aren't obliged to promote CryEngine. Right. If you are using CryEngine, you are obliged to put the CryEngine splash screen on your game when it starts up. We had that for a long time. When Star Citizen moved over to Lumberyard, that changed to the Lumberyard engine. Now, Crytek was saying, no, you got to keep on showing CryEngine. No, they don't. That made no sense. But again, okay, take it to the court, let the lawyers decide. And the Honorable Judge Dolly G said, yeah, like you're not obliged to show the Crytek splash page. If you are not using CryEngine, you are using Lumberyard. Show the Lumberyard splash page, and that's what it was. Finally, Crytek can file a third and final amendment complaint addressing these issues. But until then, motion to dismiss is granted. Thank you, Judge G. Thank you very much. Now, like I said, Crytek can still come in again and challenge these claims again. But for the most part, the judge looked at it and said, you know what? Out. Motion to dismiss approved. Everything Crytek saying is out. Hey, 
They can still probably find something. Maybe, we don't know. Is Crytek going to put more time and money into pursuing this? We will see. That's why I say I'm not 100%. I'm at 95%. But overall, a good day for Star Citizen. A good day for the backers. I'm glad it's over and done with. And uh, a great Christmas present for that. With that, let's wrap it up. Let me know if you enjoyed this content. Thumbs up as always. Your comments below is appreciated. Subscribe and I will see you uh, in the next one.